Okay. Ooh, yeah. When I pull up to the function, I'm looking so immaculate. Wow. Been a real long year with the worst things happening. Yeah. Mm. Got me down on my knees like people like Kaepernick. Wow. We made it through me and you. Now we're looking so immaculate. So, hi, my loves. Hola. Come on, stars. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Re and I create conscious lifestyle content. Today's video is going to be like a productive vlog. Like, I have been in such a slump, a rut, like, for the past two weeks. Like, I've been going through it and I haven't been down like this all year. Like literally, I'm gonna get more into that later because I just want y'all to know that y'all are not alone. We're, we are feeling the ebbs and flows of life together. So we definitely got to sit down and chat. I hate when I haven't like talked to y'all in so long because there's so much I got to catch y'all up on and some things I remember, some things I don't. But we'll catch up in just a second. First, I'm gonna talk about today's sponsor, which is Future. You guys know that I love to work out like if a video does not include me moving my body, doing some type of workout, was it really a plant-based princess video? Was it really a re video? No, it wasn't. So clearly I already worked out this morning. Woke up at five, 4.50 to go to the gym and work out. I really feel like I never really had that accountability. I feel like I'm pretty disciplined, but my problem is if I don't go to the gym in the morning, which I prefer to do and nine times out of 10, I'm going to do. But if I don't, and even if I had it on my mind to work out that day, but for some reason, I just did not get up in the morning. Sis just won't go. Like, it's over. It's not happening. If you are kind of like me, you just want some accountability, or if you're in a rut when it comes to fitness, or you're a beginner, whatever the case may be, Future may be able to benefit you. Future is a new fitness app that will connect you with a fitness coach who will give you workouts every week, monitor your performance, as well as send you messages and video chats to keep you motivated. 
Future coaches have trained with elite athletes, celebrities, business professionals, as well as parents while they were at different parts of their fitness journey. So once you've signed up, you will have a video chat with your trainer to kind of talk about your fitness goals and based on your conversation, your trainer will develop a workout plan to suit your needs and your wants. I've been running. So before I started using Future, I was going to the park and I remember the first time I went, I started off with a little jog, but I didn't really push myself. So I walked the rest of the way and it was a long walk, but my trainer on my weekly workouts, one day I was just supposed to do full out cardio and I ran for 20 minutes straight. I would, I would never, I would have never did that on my own or really like, cause I thought I couldn't do it. But let me tell you, I was so freaking proud. It was like, I just really, really needed that challenge. Cause y'all know, like I can sometimes get bored when it comes to just life in general. Like I'm a Gemini, I be needing subtle change in my life. So my trainer definitely gave me like that challenge and that change, that oomph that I needed within my workout. So I know everybody doesn't have a gym membership, but what's really cool about Future is your trainer will develop a workout plan based on what you have access to. So whether you're at the gym, you're at home with minimal equipment, or if you don't have any equipment at all, your trainer will definitely cater um, and, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, cater. That's the best word I came up with, cater your workout plan to you. If you are interested in trying out Future, go to tryfuture.co slash plant-based princess to receive your first month for $19. Thank you Future for sponsoring today's video. Okay. Um, hi, hello. <laughs> like I was saying before, I've been in such a rut, like, Last time we talked, I think it was the uh, What I Eat video, and that's kind of where it started. I'm not going to get too deep into it. I'm not even really going to talk about it that much because I genuinely feel like when you talk about like negative experiences or trauma that you've been through, you're reliving those experiences, and all those emotions are coming back up, and then you'll go back down on a down downward spiral like this. That's just me, but honestly, I couldn't even pick up the camera. Like, I really had to use last week to kind of, like, reset. I needed some time just to try to get back to me. Um, yeah, I feel like, ooh, my foot is falling asleep. Oh, my God. I feel like typically, ooh, 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 no, my foot. Okay. I think I've said this, y'all, okay, let me say this, because I don't know, I'm, I'm, I feel really feel like I'm at, I'm kind of bored with my locks, like, I love them, but at the same time, it's like, I feel like I'm at an awkward phase, awkward phase right now, when it comes to the length, and my hair grows so weird, my hair in the front grows faster than my hair in the back, um, anyways, um, what was I saying? Oh, like, I kind of really feel like, I'm at a really transitional stage in my life right now. And I feel like I've been in this transitional space for a really, really long time now. And I'm ready for the next step. I don't know, like, I'm ready for the next step. And I know you, you, you're supposed to appreciate the present, and I do. And I'm learning, and I'm growing in the present moment, and all the lessons and experiences like I like to think of like negative experiences as lessons and learning opportunities so trying to learn from those and uh, and then to top it off like I was instilling my cycle my moon cycle will be in the next couple of days I was also PMSing so yeah and really like I said last week I experienced some family trauma, I guess the word I'll use, and I really hadn't released those emotions, those feelings, and yesterday I finally let it all out, and I started to 
kind of feel a lot better like i'm telling y'all you gotta let those emotions out you cannot let that stuff like <sighs> sit inside you i promise you stress anxiety like all that stress really creates disease so find a way to release like i'm telling y'all i cry every week even even if it's like happy tears sad tear, tears your girl gonna cry one thing about me i'm gonna cry because you gotta get that stuff out i'm feeling better had to take a little break but i'm better i as you've seen woke up at 4.50. I don't know if I showed y'all the actual time, but it, I woke up at 4.50. And this has been something that I've been aspiring to do for like the past two months now. And I finally did it. Like my new favorite saying is, you ain't gonna do it till you do it. You're not gonna do it till you do it. Like stop talking about it, do it. And to, have, to be able to get up early in the morning like that, you really have to make sure that your nighttime routine, your evening routine is on point. So, that's what I did yesterday. And I was able to wake up early in the morning and go to the gym. Because here lately, I haven't been working out until like 9.30. And that's not a bad time to work out. No time is a bad time to work out. Let's just, let's be clear. But how my schedule is with my children and waking up early in the morning just works best for me. And I'm proud of myself. I finally did it. Yeah, that's really it. Yeah. I'm in a rut. I was in a rut. And I still kind of am, but I think that sometimes you have to challenge yourself isn't really the word, but it's the direction that I'm trying to go into. Like, challenge yourself. The longer you stay in a rut or in, like, a depressive, anxious state the harder it is to get out of that state i just did it today i just i did it you ain't gonna do it till you do it so i did it i want to go to the coffee shop to do work there because i gotta get out the house i gotta get the house and also like y'all know how we be talking about like um winter depression summer depression i mean i don't know if it's a thing but it be so hot I'm not finna be out in this heat. It's trifling. It's belligerent. I don't know. So I am going to get in my car, drive, and go to coffee shop where it's good and cold. My house is cold, good and cold too. But like I said, I want to work outside of the house. Um, but I want to maintain my healthy lifestyle. So I'm cooking myself lunch, my go to lunch, as of last week um yeah Giving her up, she never had this her favorite song. This man was still a son. This dance would never tear the bond to share the moment in the stars. He was crying. And we were it's crying. just so funny how I used to I hate Chiki. Everybody cried. And now, I was out of tissue. Now, I'm upset. I need to refill my container. Like 
So while I was cooking, I got an email that an order. Oh yeah, did y'all see it? Let me see my address. I got an email that an order had arrived. It's from a brand called Nappy Head Club. And it's a scarf. And I was just talking about how I like to wear my hair down, but I like it. I like a scarf. Like, I like it with this scarf on. So this is a did I already say it was black on? This is black on. Um look, it says we see you and we celebrate you. Um, this is for anyone who has ever been told they weren't good, they weren't good enough, that they weren't too much, that they were too much a reflection of the ancestors who broke their backs from the be here. We see you and we celebrate you. So, also a supporter sent me a really nice gift box. This one's called a gift box from their brand and I'll share that when I come back because it's all upstairs. That's the rice. I'll share that like okay lighting get it together but I'll share that like when I come back from working and stuff from the coffee shop it's like cream and black y'all know oh wait let's take this out look at this so cute so nice here's the scarf and I'm sorry and it may not go that well with my outfit but I'm very much ooh baby it's the aesthetics for me it's the branding for me but a lot of people i've seen like on the internet and like on the internet on the social media on instagram on their website wear this as like a shirt and that's really cute but i'm gonna wear mine like a scarf first i gotta take cut this off like i want to keep this this is so nice so nice my camera's dying and I'm appalled. So, I'm going to put on a charger for a sec so I can chat with y'all while I'm eating and show you like how the scarf look on my head, so. Here is the final meal, but I actually think I'm gonna put like some Chipotle sauce on it from this company called Bitchin. Um, I'll show it to you just, you, you probably already, you probably already heard of it. If you're not new here, you probably seen me use it before, but got my Japanese sweet potatoes, my lettuce, my rice, Roasted chickpeas, cucumbers that I cut up, as well as avocado and sesame seeds on top. Okay, so this is the sauce that I was talking about. And this is how it looks with the sauce on top. Yes. Before I sit down, I want to show y'all like the books that I've been reading. Um, so I just finished this book. You... I cannot get a good angle. Oh my god. <gasps> Look at my shirt, y'all. Isn't it so cute? I got it from Plato's Closet last week. I hate when the lights in the kitchen are on. I feel like it really messes up my video. Gotta take a bite of my food because I was trying to just show y'all my books, but I just couldn't find. Okay. I just finished reading the marathon don't stop um it is the biography of nipsey hustle very really really like thick book it took me like a month to read it and quite honestly when i'm reading like self-help books or biographies or anything that's not fictional and i'm reading it for self-development it takes me quite a while to get through it because i'm always trying to make sure that i'm digesting everything and processing everything this book was so good it was so good learning about <clears throat> nipsey hustle um literally right before he passed travis had just put me on him he was already listening to him like he has been alone has been a nipsey fan for a long time so I had just got on him. I had just watched, literally watched the um, GQ thing with him and Lauren. And when Travis told me what happened, like I literally was about to cry. I couldn't listen to his music for so long. Cause, like I just, I couldn't, I couldn't y'all, y'all know me. Um, so finally I was able to listen to his music and I was like, okay, well, and I learned about everything that he was doing for his community and his neighborhood and it was so amazing for me to learn about like where he came from and he was so smart y'all like 
ridiculously smart and so resilient. Like, I can't even begin to tell you the resilience that Nipsey had or has. But, yeah, this book was really inspiring. And a lot of the... This book had a lot of references on the books that Nipsey liked. So, that also sparked my interest in some new books. But, I mean, I 10 out of 10 recommend this book every day. Like, I was telling Travis, like, something new about Nip and... I love this book so much and it will forever be in my collection will forever use it as a source of inspiration and motivation because this man was a genius was so talented inspiring like I said before resilient and just literally didn't stop never gave up regardless like I would maybe in another video I'll go more in depth about the book about some of the things Right now, my battery about to die, so highly recommend. <clears throat> so, I just picked this book up, I think, either Thursday or Friday, and I'm already halfway through. This book is called The Mothers by Britt Benet. So, this is actually Britt's debut novel. I had already read The Vanishing Half, I think, last year, at the end of last year. Loved it. So I kind of looked up like, okay, what other books does she have? This is also a library book. Take advantage of your library, of your local library. Um, I'm over halfway through, y'all. Like, I have not been able to put this down. It's so good. Um, basically, the book is about a girl um, whose mother... I'm whispering because my kids are upstairs. Actually, I'll just put like a screenshot of what the... Um, like a summary of the book, but... I'm glued. Like, I love Brit's writing style. Riding. Why did I say the light? Right? Like, girl. Oh my God, I'm so country. <laughs> but I love her writing style. And I really, really look forward to like more of her novels in the future. I'm definitely going to have this book finished by the end of the week. It's so good. So I'm good. Oh, also, this is how the scarf looks. Real cute really count and it says good hair bt dubbed if you, i don't know if i ever said that but yeah i'm about to eat and i swear i just retwisted my hair a week ago and it don't even look like it i kind of don't care though at the same time i kind of like hate the fresh look i love it sometimes but i mainly like i don't know literally what i like changes so much forever evolving mine never made up story of my life okay I'm about to eat and i'm gonna see y'all you know when i, I see y'all i think that okay. you are okay. dope like really right. dope yeah they made it so so i'm back home now i've been back home for a little bit now um before i ended the vlog though i wanted to share a package a gift i've got why did i say i've share a gift i got from a, a subscriber a supporter let me show y'all so this is their business is like a family business. King's Treasure. And thank you for being authentically you. You are truly appreciated. Here are a few gifts from my family to yours with love, Nisha. Hmm. And so, actually, I've already looked through this, but I knew I haven't used anything because I wanted to share it with y'all. Um, yeah. So, this is Sage. And I honestly have never seen Sage like this. And if I'm not mistaken, these are all, this looks like the chakras, the seven chakra colors. That's what it looked like. I could be wrong, but yeah, I've never seen sage like this and I'm excited to use it. Also some Palo Santo, love me some Palo Santo. Washa and my favorite color, green. I honestly, I don't know what this is. 
I'm not sure. If you know, comment down below, let me know. But I'm pretty sure it's some kind of crystal. It looks like cellulite. I'm not sure 100% about what that is. And also, last but not least, some rose quartz, which is actually one of my favorite crystals. Thank you so much to Nisha from, King, not to Nisha. Thank you so much to Nisha from King's Treasure. I wanna make sure y'all understood what I was saying. For my beautiful gift, I will link other business information in the description box below so you guys can check it out if you want to yeah um i'm not really gonna be doing much for the rest of the day probably chilling reading my book i do have to cook dinner um i'm not gonna show y'all dinner because i'm literally i was trying not to freak out because i'm filming a what i eat in a week video for the first time in a long time and you know i'm gonna be anxious about it because that's the whole week of me having to keep up and remember vlogging what i eat so but we're gonna try this because i'm gonna treat it like a weekly vlog almost anywho um yeah that's it for today's vlog i love you guys so much and i truly hope that you are doing well and i will see you in my next video looking so immaculate wow been a real long year with the worst things happening yeah. Mm. Got me down on my knees like Tebow, like Kaepernick Wow, we made it through me and you, now we're looking so immaculate